Good morning YouTube, this is Dr. Sola coming back to you from Lagos, Nigeria. Let me start by wishing uh, my friends in America and my family a happy 4th of July in advance. Today is 3rd of July. Everybody did the fireworks show yesterday while we in Nigeria were busy enjoying the rain. So back to our batteries. Um, I told you I'll come back to you in a few days but something happened and I had to update you. Uh, let's start with our charger for example. I have a Schumacher um, 10 amp charger and a 2 amp maintainer and I never really paid attention to this until yesterday. So what this charger does is it pushes out 10 amps for 55 seconds and then it pushes out 2 amps for about 2 minutes. So you see your battery voltage go up and then your battery voltage drops. Then your battery voltage goes up then your battery voltage drops. So what it does is it gives it 10 amps then 2 amps. 10 amps then 2 amps. Now this batch when from what I'm seeing with the batteries, they have this unusual ten they have this tendency to resist charge, and that could be as a result of sulfation, improper charge, but you definitely know there's a problem with the batteries. So I left it on all through the night, and when I came in very early this morning at about 4 a.m., the Schumacher had gone to red saying bad battery. So I guess during the during the during the night it was going through its processes of charge, you know, doing the uh, 10 amp then 2 amp, and at some point it got an error, and then it decided I wouldn't charge the batteries anymore. So what I've done is I've taken my little charger that could push out up to 10 amps as well in 12 volts, and I've kept it at the lowest setting, and I've attached it to my battery leads here. So this is putting in a constant two, somewhere between 2 and 4 amps and then the Schumacher itself is putting in a minimum of 2 amps and then a maximum of 10 amps. So what observation do I have to make? If you recall, as you see the batteries are wet, a combination of midpoint water and it gassing. So if you recall, this cell number 2 and this cell were the bad cells. I mean, this was actually, this actually visually looked really poor. So yesterday, believe it or not, this one actually started to bubble. I don't know if you could see in there, but it's actually bubbling. Yes, you could. It's actually bubbling. So this one has started the recovery process. However, this one refuses to do anything. It's just flat. So we're hoping that in time that this one will also start to respond. Um, so, so far so good. Uh, it's, take, it's going to take a while. These things don't happen overnight. It's going to take a while. On the other hand, the battery that was at 10 volts seems to be fine. Uh, with no charge, it's maintaining a constant 12 and a half volts, which is much better than what it was when we brought it in at 10 volts. Um, this was a flat one. The flat one now is, is well. It's not fine, fine, but it's much better than it was when we brought it in. So it's actually showing electrolyte instead of water. So we're making some progress. We'll keep doing this till we get where we need to be. Again, this is Christopher Wasa and Dr. Sola coming to you from AWPS Renewable Energy in Lagos. If you like what you've seen, give us a thumbs up. If you've not subscribed, subscribe and then please share with your friends. The more people we have visiting our channels, the easier it is for us to, to keep the channel to keep the channel running and the easier it is for us to attract um, advertisers. Right now we're not advertising, we don't want to advertise, but if we get more viewers, we might and we might not, we've not made up our minds yet. So. Thank you very much for watching, stay well, stay dry.